Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element a surprise. Alrighty. You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. And that is? We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of Legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the eastern bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the eastern bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. I'll take care of him. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. Save. Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. I can handle it, no problem. Okay. Be careful out there. Implant GRX use. Let's see here. Where's rushing water? Slasher. Psycho. Medex. Mintats. Party time Mintats. That's what I can get this party going. <laughs> rushing water. Rebound. True police stories. Let's see here. Implant GRX. Buff out. Got a few of those. And a fuck ton of healing powder to keep me healing.
Arcades here. Sweet. Come on. Howdy, Arcade. Hello. What's up? <laughs> oh man, the boomers are having fun. Y'all dropping off supplies, but none of that's what I need. Unless you have turbo. Do you have turbo? Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance? You have superior firepower. You can overwhelm them if you push the advance on them. Uh, I need snipers to cover my advance. Roger that. I'll have snipers move to position. Let's get going! Another kill to my- Dude, a crooked- Damn! You almost got took out immediately! Are you running, bitch? Oh, 
room! <laughs> Eat this! I spilled a fucking anime moment with them bullets zipping between brains. Eddie! Come here, I need you to repair my weapon. Thank you. I've pushed a lot of bullets through this thing. I got like five minutes of health and I don't just spamming me with HP. Wait, which one of you followed me here? Cannibal Johnson. We were saying, God damn it, I was assuming that was fucking uh, the, the pissed off one, the one that wanted to mow everybody down. Over here. Heading up. Come on! Mongrel's gates are still shut. You like that? Show yourself and I may let you live. Let's see what my active effects are. Let's see Stuster. Filling powder still active. Oh, I got another turbo that I can activate. Okay, let's just go ahead and run through our chems list one more time. We'll just plot one of everything. Steady, slasher, rebound, rush, rushing water, psycho, party time, mintats, mintats, medax, what the fuck dot. 
couple hydras. Buff out. Done it all with a few better drinks to make sure my health regen is fucking god tier. Okay. Oh, uh, that's sealed up, Cannibal Talk, so you don't have to worry about that. Easy! And who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. <laughs> nice mask. Can't wait to take it as a trophy. We shall see how brave you are when nailed to the walls of Hoover Dam. Your body facing west so you may watch your world die. Okay. And I see no reason not to spam the rest of this now. Stand there like a bitch. Critical strikes. Just to drive the terror home. Fucking high right there. <laughs> oh, I've got like a it's like twenty battle kims. There we go. At least you're not going to be speaking in slow motion. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the damn. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. This is my duty. I'm glad to help out. What's that? Couldn't have done it alone, and I appreciate the assists along the way. Least we could do. And seeing those shits of Caesar kicking dirt as they ran, did my heart good, let me tell you. Might see some recruitment number rise, build some morale out in the Mojave long enough for the NCR to find its feet again. All due to you. Again, you have my thanks. And all the West, too, once they pass it over the radio, after signing the right release forms. Alrighty. What happens now? We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Maybe traveling's in order. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run. But I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again. And the Mojave Wasteland was <laughs> forever changed. 
The new California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave wasteland. Soon after, they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. Though some super mutants in Nightkin continued to journey to the legendary Utobitha, they found little trace of its existence. Some eventually found their way to Jacobstown, but many wandered off into the wastes, confused and disheartened. Invigorated by his travels with the courier, Raul once more took up his guns in memory of his lost Rafaela. Soon after, the Mojave was filled with tales of the ghost vaquero who hunts down those who prey on the weak. With the help of the gunrunners, the boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. The Brotherhood and the NCR in the Mojave Wasteland declared an official truce, despite continued hostilities between the two in the West. As per their agreement, the NCR handed over all suits of salvaged power armor, and in return, the Brotherhood helped patrol I-15 and Highway 95. Despite her departure from the group, the Brotherhood's peace treaty with NCR came as some relief to Veronica. Though she remained friendly with surface patrols, she was never again permitted to enter the bunker she once called home. Fearing for the safety of anyone she associated with, she continued her solitary life as a scavenger. But reports would emerge from Mojave scientists and social workers of old equipment miraculously repaired and research notes mysteriously completed. Their leaders destroyed by the courier, the fiends scattered throughout the wasteland. Without the organization of Motor Runner, Cook Cook, Violet, and Driver Nephi, they were easy prey. After the NCR's victory at the dam, in part thanks to follower medical support, NCR allowed the followers to care for refugees as they see fit. Old Mormon Fort expanded its services and was able to aid more people, becoming a refuge for the less fortunate citizens of New Vegas. Though Arcade had not hoped for an NCR victory, he was proud of his role in the defense of Hoover Dam against the forces of Caesar's Legion. Unfortunately, when word spread that Arcade was once a member of the Enclave, he was forced out of the followers of the Apocalypse. Pursued by bounty hunters, NCR Rangers, and the Brotherhood of Steel, Arcade pushed deep into the Eastern Plains and was never heard from again. Damn. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR sweet. gained control of the Mojave Wasteland, but with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. The slaughter of the Van Graffs in the Crimson Caravan caused no end of trouble for NCR back west. Already struggling, NCR's supply lines suffered further as the two caravans withdrew support until the massacre in the east was resolved. Cass survived to see the NCR flag flying proud over Hoover Dam, and thought for a moment, this is what a hero must feel like. She was about to tell the courier not to get too proud of himself. Then she figured, he knew that already. That night, Cass kicked in the door of his room to celebrate, only to find the man on the bed was an NCR soldier whose barracks had been destroyed. He was cute though, so after having her way with him, she got the hell out, leaving an empty whiskey bottle as a note. As she walked along the dam in the night, she felt drunk, content, and happy to be alive. Which to her, was the whole point of it all. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans quickly evacuated Red Rock Canyon and headed north and east into the plains of Wyoming. There, they reconnected with the followers of the Apocalypse and rebuilt their strength. Bolstered by ancient knowledge of governance, economics, and transportation, they carved a mighty empire out of the ruins of the Northwest. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, 
A cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Encouraged by the courier to stop taking her medication altogether, Lily's instabilities grew worse with each passing day. Eventually, she became little more than a ravening beast, the kindly old grandmother subsumed beneath the rage. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. With the transplant of Lupa's brain, Rex gained all of the donor's experiences traveling with the Legion. These melded well with his own memories of the Legion, and his new mind quickly adjusted to the myriad memories. Shaped up by the Courier's advice, the misfits distinguished themselves during the Legion's attack on Camp Golf. Mags was finally promoted to sergeant, and the rest of the misfits received an official commendation. They continued to serve with distinction for many years. Though Novak was a low-priority target for the Legion, many of Novak's citizens died in its defense. In the weeks that followed, several bright followers returned to Novak to help restore its defenses, allowing it to remain independent of NCR. Looking for a place where he could be of some use, Boone found himself re-enlisting with his old unit. Though his regrets remained in his thoughts, they coalesced into a purpose and Boone embraced it. He spent his leave time hunting down slavers in the desert, his first recon beret the last thing they never saw. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, NCR helps rebuild Prim as a major stopping point on the Long 15. Though Prim citizens chafe under NCR's taxes, they benefit greatly from the increased protection and merchant traffic. After their bold arrival at Hoover Dam, the remnants disappeared as quickly as they came. Legends of their power spread throughout the Southwest, a reminder of why people once feared the sight of vertebrates in the sky. And so the Courier's Road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. And the courier walked off with three million NCR dollars to go have a blast. <laughs>